Badi zenu watu wa media. Mmekuja. Mtumia kalibisha asante sana. Eh hii kitu mkiona na cheka ni kitu laisi sana. Very simple. For me I've been working in Saudi Arabia for 10 years. So I know from A to Z about Saudi. Na hii mambo inakuja kuambiwa ya kwamba Mwarabu anatesa Mwarabu anafanya nini? Actually you need to do investigation first before you do anything bad. Saudi nikienda huko I was a house boy. I was a house boy and then I was promoted to be a house driver. From a house driver nikarudi Kenya. Mnajua kuna kampuni inaitwa Almarai. Almarai is the world integrated dairy company. Imeajili wa Kenya wengi sana. Kuna maveterinaries, kuna mavet ma senior officers wako huko. Wanafanya kazi and they are earning a lot. So hii kitu ya mateso ya Saudi inaweza malizika. The president ama the parliamentary group walifanya kitu inaitwa safe houses. Safe houses ndio tu itasaidia hii maneno ishe. Safe house ya kwanza ikuwe jida. From jida ingine ikuwe damamu. From damamu ingine iweko hail. From hail ingine iweko sakaka, aljuof. Eh? Kamsimsheti. Jizan huko chini kabisa. Okay? Maka, Madina, msichana akitoka huku Kenya akienda Saudi, asiende kwa Mwarabu, asiende kwa agent. Anafaa kwanza embassy ya Saudi wanakaa tu chini, hakuna kitu wanafanya. They are doing nothing. Msichana akitoka hapa anafaa kuingia kwa embassy kwanza. Ana report na anaandikwa, amefika. Kutoka hapo anajulikana unaenda wapi? Nafaa kuenda Madina. Kuna safe house kwa Madina. And that is what Filipino do. Safe house yenye iko Madina wanampokea msichana. Kwa hivyo Mwarabu atamuendea wapi? Atamuendea kwa safe house. Huyo Mwarabu atajua hao watu he is or she is totally protected. Okay? So, kutoka hapo msichana akiwa na shida, anafaa kupigia safe house simu. Akipigia safe house simu, na face uh, safe house inaenda mpaka huko ndani. Wanaenda kujua ni nini inaendelea. Let me tell you, Saudi is not a kitchen. Atutaangalia hivi na uangalie hivi na uangalie. Saudi is like East Africa na tuongezee South Sudan. Ni kubwa sana. So embassy haiwezi 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 kuchukulikia watu wote. Na ndio maana tunahitaji safe houses. And the agencies who are here watashikana na serikali isichukue watu watikutoka na huko nje. And then muchukue watu wenye wameenda huko. Eh? Yeah. Mtu mwenye anajua, he msichana ukisikia msichana ameteswa ama msichana amepiga simu, they must it must be serious. Msichana anaweza enda kaa kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu for two years na mtu asijue kama kuna msichana ako huko. The other thing nataka kuambia agents wako hapa. Take any call from a girl as a distress call hata kama ni salamu. Msichana akitoka hapa akifika huko anaambiwa shagara ajui shagara ni nini? Tari ajui ni nini? Unajua Waarabu wanaongeanga na so msichana anasema haki ya Mungu niliambiwa nimekuja kuteswa na nimeanza kuteswa. Kumbe alikuwa anaitwa. Eh? Hizi shule wanaenda kusomeshwa kizungu Waarabu ajui kizungu. Eh? Walambo wanakuambia ngaza lale kama no kama. Ajui na sasa hiyo wanaenda shule kufunzwa kizungu. Mtafute wasichana wame, wenye wametoka huko Saudi na wanajua Kiarabu. Ndio at least msichana akienda huko anaambiwa salama raikum hiyo ni salamu. Chai ni chai. Sufura ni mahali pa kukulia. Tal ni kukuja. Wagif ni kusimama. Vitu kama hizo anajua ndio maana akiitwa pale Tal Shagara anajua ni kuitwa naitwa Shagara ni msichana wa kazi. Unaona? So huyu msichana wakati amepiga simu haijashikwa na the agent ako Kenya atasema mimi nimeanza sasa kuteswa labda msichana alikuwa na adarai elements adarai elements ni nini labda alikuwa na pressure ilikuwa inataka kumuingia akiwa Kenya wakati mwa, eh, mama ama agent amekosa kushika simu ya huyo msichana msichana sasa hiyo maneno inaanza kwenda juu damu yake inaanza kupanda atakufa na sio mwarabu amemua hapana ni makosa huku Kenya imepigwa simu hakushika na niambie wa, wazazi kuna kitu moja nataka niwaambie. Msichana akitoka hapa akienda Saudi Arabia anafaa kulipa that 2000. Kwa hivyo huyu msichana akikutumia 70000 unafaa kumuuliza huyu pesa umetoa wapi. Ujue huyo ametoroka ako nje. She is illegal immigrant. Afanyi kazi huko hayuko wada serikali. Na ukitulizeni uki, tuambieni hii maneno tunaijua. Eh? Mm. Wasichana wengi wamekufia huko wakifanya abortion. Eh? Na sasa shida turudie tu serikali. Msichana alitoroka kwa nini? Mshahara iko chini. Yeah. Filipino wanalipwa 1500. Ongezeni hao wasichana pesa hawatatoroka. 
Eh? Wengine wakitoka hapa wanakuanga na connection. Mchana yako huko Saudi Arabia anaitwa Darara. Anamwambia fanya hivi, we ukifika tu airport nitakuwa nimekugoja. Imagine huyo mchana hata haidagi kwa Mwarabu anaibiwa na huyu msichana mkenya. Anaenda anapeleka mahali kunaitwa ya mama, kuna mahali kunaitwa Jaradia, Manfuha, Kubru Manfuha. Huko sasa ndio wasichana wako huko wa merenti manyumba zao. Wengine hata ni matenant. Eh? Actually watu wengi hata walikuwa matenant. Eh? Unaona? So ile kazi iko huko ni mbaya na ni mbovu. So kusema ati kufungwe sasa ndio mmemaliza kabisa. Kwa sababu gani? Mwarabu akisikia kumefungwa alikuwa ame create agreement na agent ako Kenya. Hiyo sasa agreement imeisha. What will happen? Mwishana atapigia agent simu. Juu si agent wote watu wakosagi kushika simu. The, the other guy Tomo Rude have said there are almost 200,000 Kenyan ladies who are working there. Almost 0.001 they wanateta. So akipiga simu mstana ata, agent atamwambia wacha ni jaribu na ule mwarabu lakini tu e, agreement ilisha hata teswa ama atateswa atateswa so the only thing na naezaomba parliament ni kwamba tutafuteni sisi wenye tumeenda huko tuwakalishe chini tuambie Saudi one thing is not a kitchen the way you are thinking Saudi inataka hii na hii mikakati na mkiweka safe houses kalas kila kitu inaisha wasichana wenu mtakuwa mnasikia wanaenda 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 na mjue kuna mavijana wengine wanafanya kazi huko they are managers Eh? kuna wasichana bado wako huko wanafanya hospitali eh? wengine wanafanya masalonist eh? wengine wanafanya care giving eh? unaona so hii kitu ni kitu kidogo sana ndio maana nilicheka nikianza na ni kitu inaweza kuwa solved with immediate effect kama ni president unataka kuwa point the abuse usienda huko uwatafuta mtu wa ni professor ama nani tafuta mama mwenye ashawa yenda huko anajua mashida za huko okay aende huko angalie wacha kutafuta tafuta mama mwenye ameenda huko na anajua kama ni safe houses tafuta wenye wameenda huko wanajua yeah? lakini sasa ukienda utafute ama uwa point anybody there he don't, he don't know he don't care yeah? na sikitikika sana kuona eh, Francis Atwori amesema ati hiyo ati msichana ananyosha ubwa kitu ya kwanza ni kuomba Saudi hakudanga ubwa Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa inaitangwa kerb na hiyo ni haramu ni kama kusema kufunga eh, gurue Mwarabu hafugagi umbo. So eh, anafaa sijui venye atafanya ama sijui kama ata apologize eh, kwa wakenya kwa sababu imeshtua watu wengi sana and it was from pound site eh, na ki, kitu, ya, kitu ya kwanza aki, mama, kama hiyo watu wa Mindia kambula iende kwa media ama ikuwe aired uluzeni kwanza what is happening So mes, eh, I say thank you so much na I hope the government itajaribu kulectify and we are very much free we are very much there mukitaka kutuita eh, tuwapatie advice venye kuko ama venye mtafanya we are there and we are very many people here thank you